And you know, as far as the bass players, I worked with, oh, I worked with Slam Stewart. And he was the first guy to hum and play at the same time that I remember. And then here comes other guys that Paul Chambers and them that did it later. Play the licks at, and then play them on the bass and sing along with it. You know, I work with Ron Carter, my brother Percy, you know, a lot of different Rufus Reed, uh, Buster Williams, all of them. So over the time, so being uh, Sam Jones to me was one of the greatest walking bass players. I had him in a group. I went to Europe with Curtis Fuller on trombone and Billy Higgins on drums and Stanley Cowell on the piano. And, and uh, that was when really Sam Jones, he, I think he could walk through hell and back. <laughs> Wherever he is, he could come back, still walking. The difference in him and my brother Percy, Percy was working with the Modern Jazz Quartet for 40 years or something like that. And he got to be a little, uh, you know, he's my older brother too. You know, so he's a take charge guy in the family. And he'd tell me, all right, James, that's long enough. I play about four choruses, five choruses. Hey, man, that's long enough. I say, man, when I'm playing with Sam Jones, he don't tell me that I got to stop, man. What's wrong with you? So we get in an argument. <laughs> My old leg gonna tell me to stop because he's been playing with the MJQ and they swing for about two courses and then they go into Bach and Beethoven and stop swinging. So there was a difference. But Percy at the time before, you know, Miles asked me once, say, hey, what's happening? John Lewis messed your brother Percy up. Can he still play? Because John Lewis had the music written, the MJQ, and it would stop and start and go into different grooves and different modes, you know. So, you know, but the rhythm section, I think one of the greatest rhythm sections was Billy Higgins was a drummer who didn't play loud, but he had everybody in, in the place shaking their head. He had such an even groove and a beat that was, it was just, it was captivating. And it wasn't loud. Some of the drummers get real loud, you know, and they can, they got to let, they, they can wipe you out if you're a horn player. They can bash you right off the stage if they want. I played with Elvin a couple times. Elvin was kind of, <laughs> super strong drummer. But he was very, you know, you, he, he didn't give you a one all the time. He may come in on the second beat. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Bash, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> you're waiting for a one, you're in trouble. So you have to get your own time, practice your solos and all that stuff individually without the drums and the, and the bass and everything. That's a support system, but you got to try to play in rhythm by yourself. 